Hey, hi, future Book at Vista partner. This is a message from Jing. Uh, I'm going to just take a minute of your time and show you how to access your book and calendar system. So for the sake of this demonstration, I'm working with uh, a calendar from one of our newest Balinese partners. Her name is Ibu Made Kadek Gulianti, and uh, we'll just go through a demo on how this works, okay? So the first thing you got to do is you go to this website, Booking dot bookadvistabali.com if you don't remember that that's okay we'll send you the link to that in a second all right so you go to that web address and it'll bring you to this page now we use a property managed system it's called tokit tokit ah. all right so the first step you do is we're going to give you an email and a password so we'll send that to you uh privately each uh each owner account will be different of course but for this demonstration, we're going to use Kadek Yuli's uh, account. She's on iCloud. All right, so then we put in the password. Now, if you don't want to keep on logging in, then you just click this button so that you don't have to you know, keep on logging in to Toki every time. What it will do is every time you go to booking.bookitvistabali.com, you'll just automatically be inside. It's kind of like Gmail. All right, so once that's set up, please go ahead and log in. It should only take a second. And what you should see next is your calendar. All right, so the calendar is pretty simple. This is you up here. Now, if you didn't like the password that we gave you, you can change your password. Just don't forget what it is because uh, we probably won't be able to retell you what it is if you've changed it. Okay, once you're here, then you see your standard calendar. Now, uh, if you own a bunch of properties, then this will be uh, more applicable multi calendar. What a multi calendar shows is if you have various properties, like you have two or three properties that we're managing, then you'll be able to see that. But for most folks, there'll just be one calendar, the standard calendar, and in that you will see a month by month layout. We are in November right now of 2017. Who? Who? Yeah. So in November 2017, you can click. And go month by month forward. If uh, if you're really good and you got some future bookings in 2020, uh, then you'll see bookings there. But let's just say for the argument of being in November 2017, we can go back there. Step through it. Uh, you can also see historical records uh, if you want, and go back in time as well. Uh, right. So then. Common question is, how do I add my own bookings to the calendar? Well, that's a good question. And the way you do that is you go here to add. Once you add, you can just say this is owner booking, for example. And let's say you want to use it for the weekend, November 17th to November 19th. Well, you go ahead and select then after that your property. Okay, that's important. Um, type. Now this is important, you have to select it as a confirm booking, because if you don't confirm the booking, then it will not block any of the calendars that we have set up for you to collect bookings from outside guests. And then either you or the outside guest might need to move them because you will be overbooked. And that's never such a good thing. So please hit confirmed, right? And that's it, and then you save it. And voila, the magic will happen. And boom, there you go. There's your booking right there. How about that? Okay, cool. And since we're just doing this as a demonstration and we really do want to sell the 17th and 19th, so we'll go ahead and, oh, it's off my screen. We'll go ahead and delete that. Okay, just go ahead and delete it. That way we can still sell those dates. And that, future partners, is a demonstration of how we use Toki. And then uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask us, and we can give you a live demonstration as well. All right. Cool. Have a good day.